now I'm honored to invite Dr. Abdullah Sari Ahmad as our second speaker. Uh, Dr. Abdullah Ahmad is an assistant professor working at the Chalistan University of Veterinary and Animal Sciences, Bahawalpur, Pakistan. His main work is based on the molecular epidemiology of tick and tick-borne diseases of bovine and canines. Dr. Abdullah Ahmed, uh, would you please unmute yourself and start sharing your slides? Today, I'm going to discuss uh, my topic of presentation is ticks and tick-borne diseases of canine in Pakistan, the status of ticks and tick-borne diseases of canine. The most abundant ticks in Pakistan is Raphicephalus sanguinus sansolato, and it's a major canine and human pathogen responsible for the transmission of uh, the disease in human and canine. Individual ticks carry a very high diversity of pathogen, including bacteria, protozoan, and uh, viral diseases. Co-infection are very common in ticks and influence pathogen acquisition and transmissions as well as host infection risk. Rakitisia mesali, that is the human pathogen, and uh, Ehrlichia canis, that is zoonotic dog pathogen, are the most common pathogen co-infecting ticks of Pakistan. <clears throat> this study was conducted in 2018, and the sample was collected in 2016 from three different ecological zones of Prevence Punjab, namely Rawalpindi with average rainfall of 931 millimeter, Kasur with average rainfall of 731 millimeter and with lower precipitation rain, uh, rain rate in the with 199 millimeter. Approximately 235 female samples, tick samples were collected and were preserved in 70% ethanol before DNA extraction. DNA was extracted by using DNA tissue and keratin kit. After that, the sample was subjected to high microfluidic PCR assay for the detection of different pathogens. Approximately 27 pathogens was detected in these tick species and the prevalence of pathogen in ticks collected from farm dogs in three districts of Pakistan are represented here. Raphicephalus, uh, sorry, Rekitisha mazili is the highest prevalent pathogen followed by Ehrlichia cans in a single infection. Approximate 80% of uh, the tick, 86% uh, of the ticks were infected with a single infection and 80% were infected with two pathogen and 20% of the ticks were infected with three uh, infection parasite. This uh, table show the uh, prevalence of different pathogen in different uh, districts of uh, Punjab province. And this uh, diagram represents the highest prevalence of Rakitisha mazili, that is in district Muzaffargarh, followed by Ehrlichia canis, Anaplasma phycocytophyllum, Anaplasma marginal, Anaplasma central, and Anaplasma platys. Different pathogens were approximate nine pathogens were detected in this study. And the area wise, uh, correlation was detected by MCA multiple corresponding analysis to the infection and geographic region for their correlation. Here in this picture, you can see uh, the green dot represent the area and red dot represent uh, the infection rate. In the pic uh, picture A, it represents the single infection, picture B represents the double infection, and picture C represents the triple infection of the disease carrying a single ticks. After that, uh, the result was subjected to genetic diversity, 25 genetic variation among the Ehrlichia canis species. PRP36 tandem repeat sequence uh, 36 protein were divided into three, three were divided into three groups. Pre-repeat region that is represented by the red lines and uh, tandem repeat that is represented by yellow area and the post repeat that is represented by the blue region. 
for their genetic variation to perform the four assays, nucleotide and amino acid sequence identity matrix analysis, number two presence and absence of glycine at number 117 position and sequence of putative glycosylation at asparginine at 125 sequence. Number third, tandem repeat competition of TRP36 gene and length of post repeat region and phylogenetic analysis. Here can you see the repetition was observed at for sequence analysis, molecular signature presence of G at position 117 and the sequence of the putative and glycosylation sequence 125 in the pre-tandem region are highlighted in black boxes. Here you can see at G at 117 and putative glycine mutation at 125. While the phylogenetic analysis reveals that our sequences that are represented by asteric signs collected from three different regions of Pakistan are correlated with low genetic diversity clades, while the others are uh, uh, other sequences that were collected from the gen bank were correlated with high genetic diversity clades and early catch affiances and early catch affiances from USA were used as a outgroup for the formation of for the formation of phylogenetic tree. The conclusion of this study was this study reports that tick borne pathogen co-infection are very common in Rafis phallus sanguinous ticks from Pakistan. The high prevalence of co-infection with Erlichia canis and Rafis phallus mazeli in Rafis phallus sanguinis suggests a synergism between the two bacterial pathogens, which in turn potentially increase the likelihood of acquiring a third pathogen. Low genetic diversity of Erlichia canis was associated with the high prevalence of high bacterium in Rafis phallus sanguinis of Pakistan. The strain Erlichia canis muzaffargarh seems to be more adopted than other to co-infection with Rafis phallus mazeli in sanguinis. <clears throat> Thanks.